So there's three buttons that I use mainly. One is the depth. So if we're looking at, at the bladder there, then we don't need to have the depth all the way down to seven centimeters. So adjusting your depth so what you're looking at fills most of the screen. Okay, so now we can see the bladder wall in more detail. The second thing is the focal point. So the focal point is this dot on the side of the screen and using the trackball you can move the focal point up and down. And you can see as we adjust the trackball the image changes because the ultrasound adjusts the image to maximize the quality at that focal point. So the focal point should be at the thing you're looking at or just below. So the third thing is frequency. So frequency we adjust after because we want to have the highest frequency possible uh, when looking at a structure. And the lower you drop the frequency, the more depth we get and the brighter the images get, but we lose the resolution or the image quality. So the bladder is a superficial structure, so we reduce the depth so that we're, that we're only sort of seeing the bladder and maybe a little bit underneath it, and then adjust the focal point so it's just below the bladder. Um, and then adjust the frequency and this is kind of the image that we get. The other thing you can do can be um, BM or the gain and that can adjust the total brightness of the actual image but what we don't want to do is adjust that because what happens is it will also make the echoes returning from the superficial structures much brighter as well as, as the structures down below and you can use the time gain compensation here where you can enhance or darken, so darken or enhance echoes returning from certain points. But generally what we're doing is we're dampening down the echoes in the superficial areas and then we're enhancing echoes in the deeper areas. So generally the actual time gain compensation should be slightly on a curve like this.